But sir, I only had a couple. Can I only take it for paying? It's just we. I have my card right here. Larry Lee Halverson, nine-time drunk driver, found guilty of gross negligence, vehicular manslaughter. Ralph Eugene Dumont, multiple DUI offender, sentenced to nine years in state prison, the maximum allowed by law. James Preston Martin, multiple DUI offender, sentenced to 10 years, eight months, state prison for driving the influence, the maximum allowed by law. Welcome to the Eldorado County District Attorney's Office monthly webisodes, where this month we are featuring our vertical prosecution team. District Attorney Vern Pearson recognized Eldorado County had a major problem regarding driving and the influence and the people who are killed because of them. Sadly, Eldorado County ranks fifth worst in the state for drivers between the ages of 21 and 34 who are under the influence and killed or seriously injured someone. Even more shocking, Eldorado County ranked third worst in the state for drivers under the age of 21 who were intoxicated and killed or seriously injured another person. I think we can all agree these numbers are not only tragic but staggering. That's why District Attorney Pearson applied for and received a grant from the Office of Traffic Safety to not only educate our youth through programs like Every 15 Minutes and Distracted Driving Seminars in the high schools, but when necessary, a prosecution team comprised of an investigator and a deputy district attorney to take these complex cases, prepare them for trial, and present them to a jury. Oftentimes with DUI fatalities, it involves a stolen vehicle. And when that's the case, investigator Annalyn contacts Mike Franzen, a district attorney investigator at our office assigned to auto theft. These investigators painstakingly go through evidence, the vehicles, process, and collect evidence that will be later used in court to prosecute these cases. In some cases, such as the Megan Hickel case, wherein she had a blood alcohol of 0.26, was traveling eastbound Highway 50 in this van right here when she crossed over the double yellow line at Twin Bridges and ran head on into the husband and wife who were returning on their motorcycle from South Lake Tahoe after a 4th of July event. Both Mr. and Mrs. Schwab were killed in this collision. In these horrific photos, you can see the aftermath of victim Denise Caldwell as she was driving home after having dinner with her husband, Scott Codwell. Scott was following Denise in his own vehicle when Joshua McCavin, with alcohol, marijuana, and Xanax prescription drugs in his system, slammed into Denise, killing her instantly, with her husband in full view of the incident. This case requires specialized investigators, prosecutors, and expert testimony to obtain a successful conclusion. The Eldorado County District Attorney's Office, with the aid of the Office of Traffic Safety and local law enforcement, makes it a priority to aggressively prosecute dangerous drivers who threaten the lives of everyone on our roadways. Although these statistics and images are shocking and often difficult to view, the reality is that DUI injuries and deaths are preventable. District Attorney Vern Pearson believes in a two-pronged approach. First, with community outreach and education. We need your help to continue to keep our community safe from the deadly consequences of impaired drivers. If good citizens, just like yourself, call and report suspicious activity, many of these impaired drivers can be taken off the road before they cause deadly consequences. Second, the El Dorado County District Attorney's Office is committed to the continued success of the vertical prosecution team in order to hold these violators responsible for their actions and keep our community a safe place to live, work, and visit. And remember, if you see something, say something.